Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. And today I'm going to do a yes, no, pick a card reading for you with tarot advice. So for the yes, no part, I'm going to use these Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle by Athena Noctua. And um, this is a little 13 card deck. If you're interested in it, I've done a review of it. You can check it out on my Oracle Deck Reviews playlist. So we're going to use that. And then for the advice, I'm going to use the Crow Tarot by MJ Cullinane. So um, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to make three piles or three cards, and I'm going to put a crystal or a object with each one. And you can pick which one you feel resonates with you. So right now, concentrate on a yes-no question that you have. Or you may have three different questions for three different piles. All right, so concentrate on uh, a yes, no, one yes, no question, two or three yes, no questions. You can do one for each pile or you can just choose one pile. Definitely choose one pile for each question. And it doesn't have to be the first, second, and third in that order. It's however you're feeling it, okay? Once I get the card set up, you may want to just... Um, Take a minute and look at them and see what your intuition's telling you. There are only 13 cards in this deck, but they seem to really do the trick with the answers. Okay, there's one, two, and three. All right, so here are your three cards. And I'm going to put a little something with each one. Here is a Dalmatian Jasper Palm Stone for card one. Here is a Tiger's Eye Star for card two. And here is a Brass Bell for card three. All right, so be thinking about your question. Think about your question. If you need to pause it to choose um, the card for your answer, do that. And then we'll get started. So if you chose card one with the Dalmatian Jasper Palm Stone, your answer is choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. All right, so we are going to get some advice for you on that. Let's do that now. And we're going to get your advice from the Crow Tarot. Choose a new direction. All right, let's look and see what the Oracle uh, guidebook says for that question. It says, let's see, choose a new... This card deals with your path or, direct, or the direction you're taking. For example, let's say you've come to the cards because you're yearning to start your own business and you pull the choose a new direction card. Remember, this is not the no card in this deck, so there is more to this message. This card is calling you to dig deeper into the direction you're going and make sure you're making the best choices available to you on the path you have selected. This card may also be a call to look at the question you're asking. Do you keep pushing the divine for an answer you already know or have received but are refusing to accept? These cards can be very blunt when it comes to helping you face the truth. All right, so then let's use the Crow Tarot to get some advice. All right. Spirit, what advice do you have for pile one, for card number one, about the new direction they should choose? What advice do you have for pile one about the new direction they should choose? Okay, so you have got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about fast movement, about news coming in. So this could mean, since this is a general reading, this could mean, I'm feeling two different things here. This could mean, whatever your question was about, you should choose a new direction quickly. For some of you, you should choose a new direction quickly. For others of you, you will be getting 
a message of some sort. This could be a mail in the snail mail. This could be an email. This could be a text. Um, this could even be a answering machine message if you have one of those. So you will soon be getting a message. This is for some of you. And it will, that message will reveal to you the new direction that you should choose. All right, so that is your advice. Pile one, if you chose the um, Dalmatian Palm Stone, your answer was choose a new direction, and that is your advice. All right, so I, for pile number two, I'm going to put that card back in because who knows, that might be the advice also for pile number two. So if you chose the card number two and the Tiger Eye Star, your answer is yes. So this has given you a definite yes for card number two. So let's see what advice the tarot has for you. Spirit, what advice do you have for card number two, whose answer is yes to their question? What advice do you have? The advice here is the nine of swords. And the nine of swords is a card about anxiety, it's about worry, it's about being in your head, really being in your head. And your advice for this is, your answer is yes, you can stop worrying about it. Stop being anxious, know that your answer is yes, everything is going to um, work out positively in this situation and you don't need to worry about it. So. Um, just talk yourself right out of your worry because it, this will happen. It, the cards say that it will happen. And when it happens um, is something that you will not need to worry about. Everything is in order. Everything is going to happen when it's supposed to. So please, please stop worrying. All right, that is your advice. Now, if you chose card number three with the brass bell, your answer is get more information. All right, let's see what this guidebook says for this deck on get more information. I mean, it seems straightforward, but let's see if there's any other in advice here that might help. It says this card can function not just as a general suggestion that more information will help guide your decisions, but also as a warning that people or situations might not be as they initially seem. Seek to learn more about your present circumstances. All right, let's see. That's some good advice. Let's see what other advice the tarot has. All right, so that is two advice. So we've got the four. Oh my gosh, you've got a lot of advice here, folks. We've got the four of cups. We have got the five of cups and we have the six of cups. So this um, goes from being um, uninterested, being blasé, not paying attention to or not caring about anything, not paying attention to opportunities. This goes from not paying attention to opportunities, being bored, being disinterested, to uh, being really sad for a loss or be, being um, grieving or, um, you know, feeling just really sad about a loss, but, and not paying attention to the good that is still in your life. And then um, card six the Six of Cups is all about um, pleasant memories of the past. All right, so what I believe these cards have to say about this is if you're feeling like you don't really care about anything, you're bored, you are um, wondering about this question, really look at, get more information, see, um, pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on around you right now. Pay uh, attention to the little details that you might be overlooking um, because you're feeling blasé. Really, really pay attention to the details that are going on around you. Pay attention to what's being offered you and really delve into it and dig 
into it to get the information that you need. You may not be fully you may not be fully um, informed about this decision or this question that you're asking. Okay, and that may be some for some of you. Some of you, it, this may be your card for um, advice. For some of you, it might be this. For some of you, it might be this. And you'll know it could be one, two, or all three of these. Just whatever resonates with you, take it that way. Okay, so for the five, um, you may be really, really feeling bad about a loss that you've suffered recently. That may have something to do with the question you've asked. But this card is encouraging you to get more information about this situation because there may be something you're missing. There may be something here that's actually helpful and beneficial that you are not paying attention to. You're paying attention to the loss here, but um, obviously there's something... Uh, that's going to benefit you here if you just turn around and look. And this may be something you may have to get more information on the whole situation in order to find the good in it. All right, so that may also apply to you. And then the sixth card, um, this is about past good memories of your past or something, a person or a place or something that happened in the past that was good for you. Okay, the sunshine shows, you know, we're happy. It made you happy back then. And you've been thinking about it. So if this card is about something to do with your past or um, maybe it's not necessarily have something to do with your past, but and the answer, the information you need may be in a past memory of something that made you happy or something that was good in your past or something that was fun or even a person, okay? So the information that you need the more information that you need may come from something or someone in your past. Okay, so that may be where you need to look for information. You might need to contact someone from your past or look back through old records, old, um, you know, even old photographs, old videos. If something from your past um, is going to help you out with this situation that you're questioning, okay? So take a look at... Um, at your past, at your memories. You may have to call someone from your past. Um, I think this is super important for some of you, for some of you. So folks, that was your yes, no reading with advice. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you and it helps me out a whole lot. I want you to know, I Thank you for being here. I just appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and um, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.